Hey YouTube. Uh, let me zoom this out, okay. Yeah, wondering what I'm doing today. I am uh, cutting oats. Uh, <laughs> just looking at some of the fields. Uh, they got really nice undergrowth, and uh, I could see a little hint of yellow. Um, especially on the alfalfa where the oats were starting to choke it out a little bit. So they're, uh, we are cutting, cutting uh, oats today um, for uh, round bales. Uh, <clears throat> the oats are pretty much in that prime stage to be cut for that. Um, they call it the milky stage. If I can uh, do this with my... If you can, uh, can, uh, let's see, you can see that white substance there. Yeah. It's called the milky stage. So, that's what I'm doing. Cutting this field. Um, there's actually quite a bit here. And like you see, if you watch a seed, there it is. So, it's in that great stage that I want, and uh, we're cutting some of it. I'm not cutting all of it. Um, some of it I'm just going to end up leaving for straw. You know, I'll be round bailed anyways too, but uh, field that I think that need to be standing. Because, uh, uh, just walking over on this side of the field, you can kind of see, see the uh, clover, and then uh, there's a, uh, I'm look for it here, clover, there's a uh, fescue in here. Really pick it out right now. I don't know why I can't, but but uh, park down. See the alfalfa. You can kind of see how it's kind of yellow looking. Uh, hoping now that uh, I'm actually cutting this a lot higher. For you guys that you know say cut it down low. I actually cut mine. Oh, I could probably say six inches off the ground, seven inches. Uh, I got my skis on the hay bind adjusted for that. Uh, just, uh, I don't want to cut it too low and then uh, get a little dry and then have the undergrowth burn up. So um, I don't really plan on cutting these fields again this year. It's going to let them establish really nice and uh, it should be really good for next year. But, uh, there's a clover. Um, I actually didn't put clover in here. There used to be clover in here way back. And even though I had corn in here for a couple of years, it still still came back every year. So, um, we're just gonna leave it. Uh, but there's some elf, nice elf elf in here. Hoping now that the, this is cut off that uh, it'll kind of take off a little bit. I might put a little fertilizer on it just to give it a little boost to establish a good root system. And um, Yeah, so there is quite a bit here. Uh, hoping now it's supposed to be dry for this whole week, so Probably let her lay for a couple days and turn her over and let her lay again and hoping by Saturday or Sunday you can uh, be bailing. But uh, <clears throat> I guess the other part of this video would be uh, I have to have to go back and fix my hay bind here. Um, I had a guard uh, guard broke off or a nut or whatever, whatever you want to call it. I'm actually, I actually found the guard. So, 
not a big deal. I thought it broke off, but actually, <clears throat> well, just by looking at it, I think the nuts just broke, the bolt itself broke out. Um, somebody said, realistically, I should just go ahead and replace all the guards on here. Just by looking at the back here, you can see how it's wore out. It's pretty thin. <clears throat> have to go back probably fix that but uh that's what I'm doing Just cutting oats I guess you look at it pretty nice stand of oats so hoping for hoping for some good round bales um, I did not do any videos on the other crops that I cut. I uh, sorry about that, but uh, just didn't have the time to. But I will this time. So I guess uh, stay tuned. Hey guys, stay tuned for more.